when they're driving around in Palm Springs here, they see our place, uh, they'll see a lot of giant robots as they drive past. Oh my God, how long did it take you to do this? Oh, I didn't do it. My son did it. Oh, you said He's it. the artist. Yeah, he's oh, an incredible yeah. artist. Do you do this? Yeah. Hey, this is the guy. I am Kenny Irwin. I'm a multifaceted artist. I work in all different mediums. I've used nearly a thousand tons of material to create all the art on the property. Mm -hmm. And there's over 200 giant robots and artworks and various art installations. This is the tripod with a super death ray hooked up to it. Well, there's probably about four predominant themes running through my work. Uh, primarily the robots. There is an extraterrestrial influence. A lot of the holiday theme influence is going through it. And there's also Islamic influences going through my work. You can't stop, huh? No. It's, it's yeah, you can't stop. No, you can't to stop. It. You're addicted to it. I think a lot of people like it, and some people just think it's strange. Palm Springs is the funky part of the valley. The rest of the valley is pretty conservative. <laughs> there was a point in time where I had to decide the relative importance of me having a tennis court uh, and or Kenny having the space to be able to create. I'm working on an art installation for the uh, Avon Baltimore Modern Art Museum located in Baltimore, and that was Santa's Stealth Bowl. So if Santa's going to be uh, piloting a stealth bowl, it needs to be made partially from a real bowl so that it's not bowl, if you know what I mean. I will use any kind of material that exists that is in a tangible form. There is nothing sacred that I won't use inside my art. Adding that casinos donating all their old slot machine parts to me because they're changing them out. Yeah, they, they asked that Kenny if he wanted all the stuff and Kenny said yeah and I, said, I offered to go get it for him. I actually like the piece that is uh, the pink uh, golf cart being pulled by the big uh, horse. I don't really get inspiration from anywhere. All the art that I've ever generated throughout my entire life has been sprung. It's come from within me. I have very lucid, vivid dreams of other worlds and far distant places. A lot of what drives the um, ideas through my art. No, you actually have to go through it. And then you have to, you have to absolutely experience it. Going through this place is an experience because now you're seeing the creativity in every direction. There's nothing you can say except amazing.